Chubby at Shadowbeast Brewery going partial puka style today because it's pretty damn warm here. Also, as you can see, I shaved the face. Maybe not the best thing I've ever done. Mm. But it is Christmas Eve, and I'd like to wish everybody Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever else religion you guys follow. Happy it. I hope you all guys have a good holidays, and I hope you have a great New Year's because. 2015 is very close by and hopefully you get to do all the cool things you want to do in 2015 I have lots planned but we'll see how it goes but one of the things I have done is this there's a beer it's a pretty good lacing there this is my um, Cascadian pale ale this is the beer that I brewed but in form uh, Chinook hops as bittering and then just US Cascade then a very simple malt of uh, Gladfield's pale ale malt 5% caramel malt and 5% ship's delight so very very simple beer and this is it it's not um, clear at all as you can see decent looking color I would imagine it looks good from this end um, there is a total of 217 grams of hops in this beer this is quite cold because I just took it out, so it's about two degrees, so the hops will be a bit subdued. There's still some extra hop residue in there. Oh, well, this is not really one of my, this is just for me for Christmas. I just brewed it so I can learn some things, but enough. Let me just have a bit of sniff. Oh, citrus, piney, resiny. Lemons, not lemons, orange zest. Oh. oh, I do like that. I really do enjoy Cascade, and a lot of people have, um, are over it, but I have never brewed of it myself, so this is my first beer with US Cascade. I have used uh, New Zealand Cascade, but I haven't used US Cascade, so this is my first go. So cheers, boys. So I think I got the um, body nice and right. It's nice. It's a um, a light to medium, more on the medium side. It's quite nice and effervescent. It's not cloying. It's just keeps those flavors nice and light. Um, get a nice, a nice lingering bitterness, upfront bitterness that goes bang, hits you in the face, and then lingers up, goes out to this very subtle lingering bitterness with a, a caramel biscuity aftertaste. more that um, orange zest, citrus, pine, resin, um, hop aroma on the palate. Mm, it's almost a little bit puckering. Not puckering, but it's good. It's really, really... And I have just... I'm drinking this after I have my morning coffee. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's Christmas. So yes, I'm quite impressed with that. I can't wait to try it out once it's warmed up a little bit. Get it to 8 degrees Celsius and serve it. I think carbonation I got pretty much let's see if I get that pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Carbonation is it, small tight white bubbles, a slight tan off white head. Oh what I can say, um it's clean. I don't pick off any uh um off flavours, I don't pick any diastole which I I suffer from a lot of my beers. I don't pick up any green apples, so I think I didn't stress the yeast out. But this all might be um, hidden by the hops, which are so so good. Oh. But yeah, it's fantastic. Hopefully, um, Dean will come around at some point and he can give a bit of a, a taste and let me know what he thinks. Mm. It's gonna be good. What else have I been up to? Um, I also managed to. Oh, I was lucky enough to get a, a beer from Grant Baker. He sent me his wife's pale ale. I did a review about it, but I put it onto the website. So check out shadowbeast.co.nz and you see a review of that beer. Fantastic beer. 
uh, I really enjoyed it. it. Went down fantastically on a really hot day here. So, cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. What else have we been working on? One of the projects I'm busy working on for the Christmas break is this. So, it doesn't look like much, but this is the makings of my yeast store. So, I've got the pot or the rheostat. Uh, I've got the 12 volt power supply. I've got pretty much everything I need, so I'm going to put it together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this separate and then run this off via cable to a separate control box. So this, con this control box will sit outside the fermentation chamber or whatever, and then this will just sit inside and I don't have to worry about where this air goes because this air will just move the air around in the freezer. As you can see, it's just 120 um, mole fan with some bolts to extend it out so that sits nice and flush. The magnets will sit in the inside there and then it will sit like that. <coughs> Coffee. Boom, like that. And then the thingy will move. You know what I'm thinking I'm talking about. Oh, I leave face. So yeah, that's going to be built this up this, um, this summer. Still looking for a box to put the rest of the stuff in, but I'm going to just wire everything up and then make sure it's working and we're good to go. So that means I'm going to be doing some more liquid yeast and also trying to extend, you know, make it a little bit cheaper by using one pack of yeast, make it bigger and then saving a bottle so I can use it the next time around. A little thrifty tip tip there. Hey son. Yeah, so what else we got to um, I will be doing uh, end of 2014-2015 post on my Shadow Beast Brewery blog soon. Just so I can say what I'm planning to do, what equipment I want to try and get sorted out. All these kind of things just so I can get have written down so I have a plan. So look out for that. And basically this will be my last Homebrew Wednesday for this year, for 2004. It has been a great year. It's been has its ups and its downs. It has been some difficulties, but it has been a great time. I've learned loads brewing wise. I've cocked up lots of things brewing wise. But it has been a great year. I've learned loads. Uh, I'm pretty sure I stepped up to all green this year. I think so. So 2014 has been a big one. So let's hope for 2015 to be even bigger. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry I haven't uh, replied to your guys' comments um, on my previous videos. I'm going to get to that. I'm just, I'm just trying to enjoy the holiday because I haven't had a holiday for a little while. So I've got two weeks off. So I'm planning on doing a lot of drinking. Mm. Oh. 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 Good. So yes. So thank you guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. If you if you celebrate Christmas, if you don't, I hope you have celebrate have just have a good day. I hope you have a good New Year's. Remember, guys, keep safe. Drink lots of beers, but keep safe. We homebrewers, not idiots. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for commenting. I've made met some great people. I've made some good friends. This homebrew community is a fantastic place. Oh, it's a fantastic concept thing. But I'm just, I'm very happy to be part of it. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully 2015 will be a great one. Hopefully we'll be able to get brew a lot more beers and just have a good time. So I'll leave you be. There's lots of videos you guys have to watch. I'm looking forward to your, your videos because I actually have time to watch them now. Yay. I've been trying to catch up, so thanks, guys. Keep putting out the good content. I really do enjoy watching it. But I'll leave you. This is me signing out for 2014. I'll see you early 2015 and hopefully I have something new and hopefully I have some stuff done. And hopefully I have some beer left. I plan drinking quite a little bit of this. Oh, look at it. Just look at it. Cheers, boys. Oh, yeah. I might be really uh, doing this a beer again. I do like that cascade. Remember, keep it epic, keep it metal. Cheers, boys. Smooth cheese.